when the patient casts cannot be hand articulated, a record base and wax occlusion rim may be constructed. Outline on the cast in pencil the extent of the record base, as seen in the illustration. The cast should be dry. Using orange sticky wax, block out undercuts, as seen in the illustration. Use red rope wax to outline the record base. Place separating medium on the cast. Wet the cast with acrylic liquid. Sprinkle the cast with powder. Alternately sprinkle powder and liquid until the base is 2 mm thick. Cover the wet base for 1 hour with the rubber bowl. To ensure thorough curing, it is advised to let the base set overnight before removing from the cast. The base should remain on the cast when not in use. When the polymer is sufficiently cured, gently remove with a laboratory knife. Remove gross flash with an acrylic burr. Verify that the record base fits the simulated patient before proceeding. If the record base will not fit the simulated patient, the diagnostic cast is faulty and should be remade. A frosty surface may be covered with pink base plate wax. If it fits the simulation, proceed to smoothen the record base using wet pumice. The finished record base should be stable on the cast and patient, with no rocking. The finished record base will reliably fit only this diagnostic cast and should not be expected to fit other casts. It requires two appointments. The acrylic continues to cure, and should be made well in advance of its intended use. After completion of the record base, add pink base plate wax to simulate the occlusal table. First add sticky wax to the surface of the record base. Warm and fold a sheet of base plate wax. Place pink wax on the edentulous areas. The pink base plate wax simulates the occlusal table in height, width and length. The handheld torch is useful to warm the wax. Seal the wax to the rim. The record base should be smooth and present an acceptable appearance. The hot plate may be used to smoothen the rim. It is very important to ensure that there are no sharp spots. Check carefully with the ungloved finger. The waxed rim simulates the occlusal table. It will be used to make an intraoral occlusal maxillomandibular relationship.